And on this Independence Day, we not only remember the founding of the Republic, but also the service members who sacrificed to preserve our freedom. The generation of veterans that won World War II is fading now, but they'll never be forgotten. At Mount Carmel Hospice, a special program helps brighten their final days. TV's Kurt Dud, though, has the story. New friends have become old friends, thanks to a program through the Mount Carmel Hospice. Cliff Day, a veteran of World War II, gets a weekly visit from another veteran, Paul Eccles. He volunteers his time. The program director says it's a way for dying servicemen to make meaningful connections with fellow servicemen on common ground. It's normalizing that you can ask those questions because that might be the door to open up to other kinds of conversations. Paul accompanied Cliff on an honor flight to Washington, D.C. last April to see the World War II Memorial. The men enjoyed the salute from their country for a job well done. It was a wonderful experience. The only thing I, I would love to, to have had was more time. My father and father-in-law both served in in World War II and they're gone now. So for me to get to spend time with, with people like Cliff and so many more, it's been just a great experience. Paul's had special training to help him connect with veterans like Cliff to brighten the last of a lifetime for those who have given so much. I get so much more out of it than I ever put into it. I love it. Kurt Ludlow, 10 TV News. And the Mount Carmel Hospice Program is part of a national effort called the We Honor Veterans Organization.